Welcome to video 13 on the SCARM model railway editor. Let's have a closer look how we can create shapes like for instance this uh, station platform or these boxes over here. Suppose we like to create a station platform over here in between these tracks. Let's have a quick look at 3D. It's this platform uh, over here. It can be a rectangle. Um, well, the first thing I prefer to do is make these drawings in, a, in their own layer. I already have the layer window open. If it's not, then go to the view menu and then tick the layers to open it. In the layer window, we create a new layer, then click the name to change it, and it is going to be the platforms layer. It's now the active layer, it's blue, which means anything we draw is ending up in this layer. Uh, I already opened up the figures uh, over here, but if they don't show, click this little arrow, find in the long list or the library the figures. It's uh, with me, it's here at the bottom. It's not called shapes, it's called figures. What we need is a simple rectangle, so let's click that. Uh, nothing shows, but uh, I can now draw a rectangle. Uh, it can all only be drawn horizontally or vertically, so yeah, let's make it vertical because that's closest to what we need. Then it opens the window when I let my mouse go. Vertical position means how, how far above the ground is it? Well, in this case I want it to be on the ground, so zero is the good value. Height is how uh, high this object is going to look in 3D. 10 millimeters is a good height, one centimeter is a good height for HO track platform. We can click the color and then let's make it cement gray for the platform. Um, let's click OK and there we have our platform. Uh, to move it, first select it, click on it, it becomes a red. Uh, I can now control um, left mouse, move it over here. And now I have to rotate it. Uh, that means a right click, select a rotate from the menu and try to find the correct angle. Well, I already know that this angle needs to be 12 and that is okay. Now we have a little bit of misalignment. That is not a big problem. We can select every corner point, click it and it becomes a red and then uh, do exactly the same with any move command. Uh, hit the control key, left click and drag. Uh, so let's drag it over there and then select this corner point, hit control, left click and drag. And this starts to look good. Yeah, we don't know exactly where it has to be, so we just eyeball it a little bit. Uh, if it if the, if that is left and right, the same amount of space. And then let's go to the bottom, zoom out and zoom in again, and then we do the same over here. Now we only have to drag one of them, and then put that where we want it. Uh, this is looking good. Let's have a look at 3D view, uh, how our platform looks right now. Well, that is, uh, yeah, that is what we wanted, a nice station platform uh, looking quite okay in my eyes. Let's make it a little bit more complex and uh, move over here. Uh, suppose we also want to have a platform over here. Yeah, but this is a bend, uh, a curve, and then yeah, maybe we want to uh, be close to that rail too and then go back. We cannot do that with a simple rectangle. In this case, we need to go to the Polygon. Let's click the polygon and uh, yeah, we can simply start putting down points uh, by clicking and a line will show. I have to click and don't have to drag. You can let go your mouse button and just move your mouse and then 
click at every location where you want a new point. Uh, I don't like to have too much of those points, so yeah, be as, as scarce with that as possible. Uh, yeah, now I eyeball it a little bit uh, that it looks uh, more or less parallel. And the final point, I want it to close the, 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 the polygon. So what I do now is not left click, but right click. Right click and it automatically closed it for me. And now I get the same questions. Uh, the vertical position, again, I want it to be on the ground. The height is the same as a, the other platform, uh, 10 millimeters. The color is again gray. And there we are. Does this, this look good? Well, not entirely, but we can still make changes by clicking on it and then moving around these points Control, left click and drag. And yeah, now we can just finalize the, the, the whole thing by fine tuning all these points a little bit and you get the ID. Uh, do I have enough points in the corner? I don't know. If I would like to add one, I can do this by right clicking and then say insert new point. And that inserts a new point and that can make me follow this uh, band a little bit better. I personally don't am not in favor of a lot of oh, a lot of points, but sometimes you yeah, you need to do that for a little bit more accuracy. Well, this is uh, already starting to look good. No problems here. Uh, let's have a look at the 3D view. Uh, where is my platform? Yeah, over there. Uh, move a little bit. Well, this is looking good, isn't it? I mean, uh, it was not too much work to get a, a irregular shape like this. And that's all there's to it. Uh, click some points, move them around and you are done. Okay, suppose we like to create a building or a, a house or an industry thing. Um, yeah, that is also easy. Uh, create a rectangle again uh, or another shape, whatever you like. This time the height is a, a bit more, of course. Uh, I don't know how high is a building, 100. Uh, that's maybe too high. Uh, but uh, we will see in 3D view if it is okay. Let me look at this building in 3D. Is it too high? Well, well, it's a bit high, but not, uh, not dramatically. Uh, yeah, we have to rotate it again a bit. Uh, and that means align it with the station platform more or less. Uh, move it a bit and now I'm going to put a roof on it. Uh, that is easy. You select uh, the box that you want a roof on and then click roof. And then we get a couple of choices. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, the simplest one is this one. Uh, and it automatically puts a roof on your box. And in 3D it now looks like this. That was quite easy to do, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Um, well, we have other shapes too, circles and cylinders and yeah, ramps even. So, well, I, I just uh, would say experiment with them. The, the, the way of working is exactly the same with any one of them. Uh, create the points and then move the points around to fine tune your shape. Let's move on to the next video of which I don't know the subject yet.